Hey, hi, hello there. I have another unboxing from the Hay House Card Deck Club. So they they open it and then once it fills up, they close it. I don't know what the status is. The last time I unboxed was like the initial one um, where it was a little, it had a little extra fanciness with our little like card stand and all of that. Um, and this is Louise Hayes. Oh, I have it actually right here. This is one of the decks that came in there, the Power Thought cards in the cute little bag with this and a little mirror to say your affirmations into. It was very cute. It was like the founders or introductory box. So I feel like it had more in it. Um, it's in the 35-ish dollar range. I'll have to look that up. Um, I got this a while ago, but like with the holidays and school being out, I have been super busy um, and I managed to get all the Zodiac readings done too for the new moon, which is also for the new year. So they are still valid. The energy is still there if you're interested. Um, there's a playlist if you go to my channel called Zodiac Tarot um, or Tarot, Zodiac Tarot Reading, something along those lines. The most recent section is by sign for the new moon, which actually is more energy for New Year's resolutions. And then we're looking at setting intentions. So if you're interested in those readings, check them out on the playlist. All right. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Melissa. Welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Um, I am here to hopefully spark something that will help you on your journey. Uh, so um, whether it be one of these card decks, a witchy unboxing so that you can get boxes of witchy goods or um, tarot readings on random topics and of course our zodiac readings for the new moon and full moon. So let's dig into this card deck box. Yeah, like I got this probably maybe a month ago. I am so sorry I'm late on it, but ooh, ooh, I maybe like the theme. My light attracts light, but we have this dark background. So like interesting. And it does say, I think what decks are in here. So uh, mostly I think we usually get like Oracle decks, not tarot, just in case that's a thing for you. I know a lot of people aren't big fans of Oracle. Lots of blue filler stuff, like the night sky. Oh, okay. The Oracle Card Journal, daily practice for igniting your insight, intuition, and magic by Colette Baron reed Okay, this is very similar. Where's mine? Oh, it's probably on one of those bookshelves. Um, <coughs> I also um, have one of that I've created myself that is available for purchase on Amazon because I create witchy journals. Um, and that link is also down there in the description if you're interested, but this is very cool. It's very similar to what I created. Um, I feel like I have more prompts in the journal part, but this is what it looks like. And a place to like, like draw or write. Um, card info, you could draw a picture there. Um, you could get tarot card um, stickers and use those in here as well. The date, location, I don't know why you would want necessarily to put your location in there. I never thought of adding that. Your first impression of the card and then write and draw what the card meaning card means to you. So then there's um, a writing space and a drawing space. And I think the, the rest of the pages are all that. Like there's a, a good chunk in the middle that is the journal. Um, but it looks like there is other information in here, which is obviously not in my book. Um, let's see, uh, prepare for your daily practice. So it has some information on um, activating your decks and mixing your cards, activating the journal process. There's a lot of good information in this. Um, many magical functions of your Oracle cards. Um, and then it talks about, it looks like it's talking about symbols, flashlight, shovel, like it looks like it's talking about the symbolism in the cards, how to choose an oracle deck, background on oracles and divination, understanding the universe, understanding the self, set yourself up for success, what you'll find here, something for everyone. I'm going backwards in the book. Um, oracles me and why I made this for you. So that's a message from Colette Baron reed who I do follow on social media. She does um, live readings. Um, I, I, she used to do them, I think, weekly. I don't know if she still does. But in the back, there was some more stuff here that looked like moon phases or something. Hold on. It says day 20. Hold on. Day 40, pause and reflect. Um... 
Look back at the entries from the past 10 days. Do you see a pattern? What have you learned so far? How has your relationship with your higher power strengthened? Have you, um, how have your reactions to life changed? What synchronicities have you noticed in your life? So there are some like journal prompts in the back. Um, I'm not sure what the day 40 is in reference to. Like I said, I just, I, you saw me take it out of the box. I guess maybe it's 30 days. Okay, there. this explains the 40 day process. Okay, I will go through that later. We're doing an unboxing video right now. A little busy. All right, here are our decks. Um, Raise Your Vibration Oracle by Kyle Gray, who I think I also follow on social media. Uh, live a high vibe life in every moment. You can make a choice to raise your vibration and take the opportunity to align your life with purpose and energy. This 48 card deck is a powerful tool to help you activate your intuition, harness universal wisdom, and attract positive experiences into your everyday. Um, oh, Ari Weisner. Okay, hold on. Oh, this explains so much. Okay, I, I'm going to be sidetracked a minute. Okay, so that is what I just read there. And this talks about Kyle Gray and Ari Weisner. Now, I'm, before I read about them, I, what I noticed first is that they included pronouns. I just did an, uh, a full walkthrough and unboxing of this deck, which is Ari Weisner. And I hope I'm saying the name right. It looks like Ari Weisner to me. Um, but it's talking about both of them. So now I get to learn a little bit about the person who created this deck, which I love. This is the deck that I used for the new moon readings. If you go check those out, that's the deck I'm using. There's also a walkthrough for that deck. Um, Kyle Gray, he, him, is a spiritual teacher, the best-selling author of eight books, and the co-creator of six Oracle decks and RaiseYourVibration.com. Ari Weisner, they, them, is a queer artist, illustrator, and designer. Ari is the creator of the Transient Light Tarot and Trinity Tarot decks. I'm going to look for that. I'll be looking for that. And AriWeisner.com. So the value of this deck in the U.S. is $21.99 and the Canada is $28.99. Um, obviously, that's probably not what most people pay for these on Hay House on the website, um, because they always have like some kind of deal, like a buy one, get one free. I don't think they do that. Um, but they do do like a $10 deck deals um, and $8. That's I got the Transient Light during their $8 deck deal um, before I think Thanksgiving sometime in that um, area. But keep an eye on Hay House, not only for this box, but for their deck specials because they, they, they get some good deals. And then the other deck, this is our other deck. That is the end of the box. This is um, the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle by Radley Valentine. 44 card deck. I'll show that to you. All right. So I'm not going to like, I'm going to make this quick because, you know, I don't want to lose you after five minutes. Um, so I will not be doing a full walkthrough on these. I will open the boxes and show a, a, a couple of cards. I almost accidentally said a bad word. I usually so say those suckers on purpose. But let me, where did I put the scissors? Sure. Okay. I'm going to get this open. We'll just take a peek um, and let me know in the comments which one you want me to do a full walkthrough on. I also have another walkthrough because I got a couple of decks during their $8 sale in November-ish, October maybe. I don't know. I don't know when I bought them. I just buy a lot of stuff I should buy. But I like them all, so it's worth it. Oh, trying not to damage the box. I need like a cigarette pull tabby thing on here. You know what I'm talking about. They put them on the gum packages too now. Wait, when are we going to get them on the Oracle decks? Okay, there we go. Here we go. All right. Nice sturdy box. Decent, like, book. Are the pages colored? There's no pictures. Okay. That's okay. Words of wisdom. And then it does have a table of contents saying what the card is, what number card, and what page it's on, which is pretty typical. But card number seven, change is coming. And then it gives like a full little blurb about it. It doesn't show the picture of the card, but that's okay. 
And they are, they seem pretty short explanations. They're not super wordy, but the writing is kind of small, but it's about a page long. All right, now, oh, that was a fail. Okay, there, that's, that was so bad. Okay, the back of the card is really cool. It's got like a butterfly, very air energy. Okay, we got the butterfly, we got the wings, swords, air energy, and the tarot. So very airy and blue also. Um, one, all is in perfect timing. This is it. It's time to take action now. I will be there to help you every step of the way. So I'm liking the artwork really quick. Um, a little cartoony, a little cartoony when we get to the um, people. Very nice. So far, pretty inclusive. Very expressionful. I don't know. That's not a word. Expressiony. No. I don't know. Anyways, so these I'm just going to show a few of them. It has also a brief description in case you don't have the book with you or you don't want to read the book. You. I'm trying to keep them in order for if I do a walkthrough. Um, but yeah, very very pretty. I, the they almost look like cartoons. They're cool though. Let me see. Four, four, four. In the background on that one. I will just have to look at them. Let me find another cool one to show you real quick and then we'll look at the other one. Trust in Divine Purpose. That one's really pretty. Very, what is the expression he has in, having expression? What word am I looking for? All right, and then I'll just show you the last one 44. Um, you will manifest what you need, not always what you want, but what you need. Okay, those I have to put back in order. Let's take a peek at the Kyle Gray deck Raise Your Vibration Oracle with Ari Weisner, who now I am like a super fan of. Um, I, I won't stock them, I promise. <sighs> kind of cool coincidence when you like you realize that some some like an artist that you like um, has similar I don't know traits or however you want to put that. Ooh, another sturdy box. Let's take a look at the book. Nice, same, same size, similar. Um, I mean, they are, I think um, Hay House is the one that like actually publishes these anyways. So that makes sense that they would be very similar. So these ones do have, let's not do that one. Let's do this one. They do have a little picture of the card in black and white. So I do like that. And then it does actually talk about um, the chakras as well. So it seems like there may be a, um, like a theme to the cards, like some of the, they are associated with specific chakras because there was a couple of pages that I saw that talking about grounding. Um, and then there, I think there's spreads in the front. Yeah. There's a couple of little suggested spreads, fairly typical and expected. Glad it's included. Those kids, I'm telling you. Oh, I did it that time, but yeah, I wasn't trying. So there is the back of the card, love in the rainbow vibes. It's like a vortex with, with, uh, the Merkaba in the middle. Abundance is a state of mind. So these feel like affirmations in raise your vibration Oracle. So I will just, I am grateful for the earth. Okay, maybe actually not hold up a bunch of other cards with it. The world is blessed to have you. These feel more like an affirmation deck, but I love it. I like um, affirmations. I clearly have Louise Hay's affirmation deck there. That's the one I've turned to in the book. I call back my power. And I feel like these would be a good one, like if you... Um, were crafty and you maybe had an Etsy store and you like to include like an Oracle card 
or something of that nature with your orders um, intuitively, this would be a great deck for that, I feel like. So these are very nice. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's a yellow brick road. Very cute. Choose kindness. What is this one? Shift your perspective. Very colorful, bold um, artwork. Now this, this is definitely my new BFF, Ari Weisner's handiwork. Seems pretty similar, right? I love this. This is very pretty. I, I love all of this. Um, but I like the colors. I like the way that they are um, incorporated. And they're just like bold. And I like the dark background. It really makes the color pop. Most of them have like a kind of a darker um, background. Clean your, clear your karma. I am surrounded by angels. I am supported on my path. A little dragonfly. Somebody might need to see that dragonfly. That's what I'm feeling. Ooh, facing my shadows, we're going to move darkness from the world. That's a great affirmation. All right. So if you want to see a full walkthrough of either of these decks, um, I will do a full walkthrough, whichever one gets commented the most. Um, I'll probably end up doing both eventually. But I do have another deck that I had planned on doing a walkthrough of that I purchased when I purchased the Ari Weisner Transient Light deck. And now I need to go find the other deck that they made because I need to see this. So thank you so much for watching. This was the Hay House Card Deck Club. I'll include a link. It may be waitlist right now, but if you sign up for the waitlist when they open it back up, it is a quarterly, I forgot to say that, it is a quarterly subscription. So it's only four boxes a year. Um, and I would say they show up around, yeah, because this came around the solstice, they show up on solstice to equinox dates. So just to keep that in mind, it is not every month and it's in the $35 range. I'll double check and include that in the description, um, when I publish this video. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know which deck you want to see a full walkthrough of. I will see you in the next video. Always remember the magic you seek is within you. You have a blessed day.